Hey, this is Disney Cars Toy Club, and today Plato Plankton is going to help us unbox the entire SpongeBob collection that I'm showing you here in this video. We're going to do all three character sets, both play sets. That includes the Bikini Bottom play set and the Krusty Krab play set, all of which you can purchase from Toys R Us. Let's go ahead and start with the character play sets. Let's get those out of the way first, and then we'll do the big ones towards the end of the video. And let's go ahead and start with SpongeBob and Patrick jellyfishing. So you're gonna get a jellyfishing net and a jellyfish with this one. There is our first SpongeBob. You can move his arms around. He's got a big nose. And let's go ahead and set him right next to a much bigger Play Doh plankton. Here is our jellyfishing net. There is our big jellyfish. <laughs> it almost looks like it won't fit in the net. Let's give that a try. Okay, so it, it kind of fits in there. And then we got Big Head Patrick, there you go. And he's got some big green neon shorts on, so let's go ahead and set him down right next to SpongeBob. You know what? He's not even wearing his Krusty Krab hat and he still can't stand up. <laughs> All right, so, guess he needs a little balancing with his arms maybe, there we go. Let's go ahead and do the next one. This is gonna be Mr. Krabs and Squidward. Of course, you can't have Mr. Krabs without his money. And let's just put Mr. Krabs' money right there, right next to Plankton. Of course, Mr. Krabs won't like that too much, so we'll put him right there. Have to move the camera over a little bit. Then we got Squidward. And let's not forget his awful flute. And then right here is gonna be another Plankton. And this is Plankton's robotic creation. This one looks like it might be a little bit trickier to get out. All right, so now that we got the package apart, man, that thing is huge. Look how big that thing is. So little antennas go up and yep there's little plankton's door so he can get in there let's go ahead and get him in there we're going to attempt to get him in there and his arms don't move so he's just like a little wow he's actually like embedded into the helicopter so there he goes inside of there And we got the door to shut, and that's what he looks like. Let's get some light on him. There he is, almost like a space astronaut. Wonder, will Squidward fit? There we go. And yeah, I don't think Big Patrick's gonna fit, but yeah, Mr. Krabs isn't gonna fit. And there goes Patrick falling down again. And I can't get SpongeBob. <laughs> okay, so I've established that you can't get SpongeBob to fit in his grasp. But you can get Squidward. There we go. He's just going to have to pick on Squidward from now on. So if you buy Plankton, make sure you get Squidward so he can toss him around. Alright, so up next we have the Bikini Bottom play set. This is going to be SpongeBob's Pineapple House and Squidward's House. Let's go ahead and get this thing ripped open. So this is going to be the jellyfish launcher. You can put the jellyfish in there and fling them across the room, which I'll be doing that here in just a moment. And then on the back here, we're going to need to put together SpongeBob's slide. So let's see, how does this thing go together? Should just clip right down in there. All right, so let's get this slide attached to the play set. Looks like the two holes are going to go pop down in there and then it's going to connect right where his bed is. Of course it's plastic so you kind of have to push on it a little bit. 
There we go. Up next, we have the two characters that come with the playset. That's going to be Squidward and SpongeBob. And the jellyfish. Let's go ahead and take the jellyfish out. And these are pretty much just going to be flat discs that you can fling across the room. And here is the SpongeBob that comes in the kit. It comes with his little slippers. And then we have another Squidward that has a nightcap on. So let's go ahead and put Squidward in his house. And let's shut his door. So let's put SpongeBob in his bed. And then we are going to test out his new slide. And it needs a little bit of help. There it goes. All right. So if you put Squidward on top of his house, you can make his little eyebrows move around. So that's what that does. There we go. Get some nice spinny eyes going. And then right here, you can put the jellyfish on here. You gotta snap them on. And there you go, that's what that does. Of course they don't. There's not a lot of room between the pineapple and Squidward's house, so they don't, they don't move too easy. Now let's see if we can help Spongebob take down Plankton and his, save his friends over here. There's one hit. Let's see if we can knock him down. Oh, there he goes. Right into uh, Patrick and Squidward. All right, let's see if Spongebob can get a jellyfish to hit Patrick's net. I don't think I can actually get it in there, but let's see if we can knock it over. There we go. That hit the net, so that was good. And then one more. Let's just fling one more into Plankton. There we go. All right. So up next, we have the Krusty Krab playset. This is going to be the biggest playset out of all of them. And then this is going to be a closer look at the characters. As you can see, that's probably the best looking SpongeBob character out of all of them. So let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box. Let's start with this. If we can get these strings off here. And okay, it's actually it's connected back there, so we're going to have to take it all out at once. Let's see if we can move SpongeBob a little bit over here. Because this is going to be a pretty big playset. Alright, so let's go ahead and take this out. Here's a better look at some of the characters and the items that you get. And here is Robotic Plankton yet again. He sure does like his robots. It looks like you can actually take him off of there. Yeah, there we go. So he actually comes out and he has like a little scooter that he can get around in. So that's actually, that's pretty cool. We'll leave him in his little robot. We'll stick him right there for now. And then we have SpongeBob with his Krusty Krab hat. As you can see, he's having a pretty good day right there. We'll just put him right there. And then we have some Krabby Patty Buns. And it looks like this is going to be... Oh, that's Karen, the robot computer wife of Plankton. I didn't even realize that was, uh, that was another character there. And then we have some Chum. That looks delicious. And then finally we have Spongebob's spatula. Let's go ahead and stick that right in his hand. There we go. Okay, let's take a look at the Krusty Krab and the Chum Bucket. Alright, so up first we have the Krusty Krab, which has a little sliding door right here. It's got a wheel that turns. And on the back here, we have the the flinger it looks like what's going on here oh okay so this is gonna be what flings your burgers and then as you can see right here we have the patty vault which doesn't look like it actually does anything yeah that doesn't move or do anything 
So really the only thing that you can do with the Krusty Krab is, is fling stuff like that, which comes out of the, the vault. And it looks like, okay, so if you turn this, it's gonna open up the vault. So that's pretty cool. Let's get a better look at that. Let's use Squidward. I like Squidward. So there you go. And then you can fling your patties. And then let's take a look at this chum bucket. I'm sure there's gonna be something neat going on with it. And it looks like we still have like a string right here. Let's go ahead and cut that out. There. So now that we cut the string, let's see what this door does. Okay, it looks like the door just opens, which is what you would expect a door to do. But I'm willing to bet, let's try Squidward. There we go. If you turn it real hard, it opens up the launcher. And then you use, let's see, let's put the little chum in there. Now the question is, how do you launch it? Looks like there's a little lever right here. So let's try this lever. Let's see if we can launch it right into the camera. <laughs> that was actually so fast you probably didn't get to see it. Let's try it one more time. I won't hit it as hard this time. And here it comes. Oh no. Alright, let's try it one more time. Let's do it a little slower. There we go. I'm sure you guys saw that one a little bit better. That first one came flying out of there like a hurricane. Down here, it looks like we have an operating table of some sort or a counter. I'm not sure exactly what's going on with that. And then right here we have a little register or a computer. And not much going on up here. So let's take a look and see what this looks like unfolded. So big it can hardly fit on my desk here. So you have the chum bucket on one end. You got some of the nice cloud scenery for the, the piece in between. And then we have the crusty crab over here. So let's see if we can launch these things at one at each other. <laughs> Ooh, we got Squidward right in the face. Let's see if we can knock all Squidward down though. So Plato Plankton, what was your favorite character or toy or playset that's over here today? Hmm. Did you like the Squidwards? Did you like that Plankton? Did you like the SpongeBob's? Patrick? The Krusty Krab? Or the Chum Bucket? No, I think I liked this one right here. The big giant robotic Plankton. That's the coolest thing out here in my opinion. That's my favorite. What was your guys' favorite? Which character or playset did you like the most? If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out the SpongeBob Easter egg hunt that we're gonna have coming up for you guys very soon. So stay tuned for that. This is Disney Cars Toy Club and thanks for stopping by. Now let's see if SpongeBob can launch a jellyfish into Patrick's net or at least knock him over. Oh, all right, one for one. Let's see if we can get it in his net. Oh, there it is, finally. I got it in the net, look at that. You guys saw it here first. Too bad Patrick can't stand up with it. Let's try a few more of these. Let's try the old school way. Let's just throw them. <laughs>